Ladies and gentlemen, I am under a cold right now, so I apologize for my voice, but I just had to get this video out there. It has truly been racking my mind ever since the idea has come into my head. Is Peach a thought? Now, at first glance, you might be thinking, this is the stupidest thing I've ever clicked on. What are you on, simply? And I believe that that is a valid concern, a perfectly fair point. However, you did click on it, so here we are. We are going to attempt to answer this question, and as it turns out, there is a conclusion. There really is a way to analyze what's going on here with logic and reason. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, Peach, thought, maybe? I don't know. However, thought, what does it mean? Thought. On the Urban Dictionary, the number one resource for getting 100% factually correct information for definitions, it is a acronym that stands for that hoe over there. So basically hoe, right? Let me rephrase the question. Is Peach a hoe? Well, a quick Google search. A hoe is a long-handled gardening tool with a thin metal blade used mainly for weeding and breaking up soil. I don't believe that Peach is a hoe in this sense. However, of course, hilarious jokes aside, I believe that at, at least the definition that I will be running with for hoe is a person that is unfaithful or a person that is sleeping around a lot. That is the definition that I'm going to go with here for this video. Now, we're going to dive right in. I'm going to be looking at the Super Mario 3D Adventure games, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy games, and Super Mario Odyssey to get the scoop. Starting with Super Mario 64, let's get the facts straight. Peach is a princess. Mario is a plumber. Super Mario 64, Peach sends Mario a letter. Clearly they've, they've, they've built a bit of a history over the years. That much is true. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I've baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool, Peach. Is this a request to eat cake or something more? It's kind of hard to tell. So for this point, we're just going to assume that we're talking about just coming over for a little bit of cake action as anyone normally would in a, a perfectly platonic relationship. Now, first thing, of course, Mario comes to the castle and the big gotcha Bowser is here. Welcome, no one's home, and now scram and don't come back. Gwaha ha. Obviously somebody's home, Bowser not fooling anybody. Mario goes through the castle and does his thing that he does so well. And there's not too much storytelling in this game besides the ending, which actually gives us a lot of details into this relationship between Peach and Bowser. So, extremely important. This is when we realize how much of a factor height truly is. L literally, at the end, Peach comes down from the heavens. She's got her star power. Mario is patiently waiting he's got his hat he looks nervous you know he's holding tightly onto his hat probably hoping for maybe something a little bit more than some cake however peach opens her eyes the savagery is real from the very beginning looks around pretends to not even notice mario and thus gives us so much information into what's really going on in peach's head Peach has been kidnapped, right, by Bowser. Big scary man, awful, right? This is so bad. And all that Peach is going to give Mario is a peck on his oversized nose. A peck, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this could be the No Nut November creeping in, you know, perhaps a commentator might need to deal with what's going on in his pants. But I don't think that I'm, I'm crossing the line here when I'm saying that if you were really into Mario, let's say you're Peach, and you're really into Mario, and he just saved you from Bowser, this big bad man, uh, it would be a little bit more than a peck on the nose. I'm just saying, that's what I think would happen personally, but okay, fine. It's a kid's game, you know, you don't want to get too explicit, maybe behind the closed doors after they get the cake. Peach is basically like, all right, and, and look at this, look at this. Mario loses his mind. He is infatuated with Peach. He is so down with Peach, right? He is so just wanting to get under that skirt, you know, have Peach down smash on his dong. 
just blowing his load right there on the castle and trying to contemplate what happens. Peach reminding him to come on in for some cake. And boom. Now at this point, yes, Mario is infatuated with Peach. It's very evident by the love from the kiss. So far, this is a strictly platonic relationship. We don't know what happens inside of the castle, however. It will become clear as we go further along through the mission. Up next, Super Mario Sunshine. There's nothing too big here in this opening cutscene then. And something crazy happens, right? This is this is the first indicator that something is going on behind the scenes. Okay, watch this very carefully. <clears throat> Peach gets called Mama by Bowser Jr. Now, when this happens, Peach is confused, but doesn't outright deny that it's possible. And this is extremely important. Unless Peach has been drugged out of her mind, well, and, and she seemed like she's been fairly coherent throughout all the cutscenes here, this basically admits that Peach has done the deed with Bowser. Now, Peach probably thinking in her head, we've used protection, um, a little worried, but it, there's, there's a bit of a plot hole here because you think that Peach would remember giving birth to Bowser Jr. However, uh, we'll, we'll touch back on that in a moment. And lastly, we're bathing in the goop. It's a family vacation in the sky. I don't, I, it really doesn't make any sense how they got there. They always end up in the sky, but Peach doesn't want to sit in the goop. Bowser Jr. is like, come on, mama, get in the soup. And, and Peach isn't really having any of it. It seems like she's kind of bored or waiting for Mario to pick her up. Anyway, Mario does the thing that he does so well, saves the day, and in this ending cutscene, Bowser reveals to Bowser Jr. that Peach is in fact not her mama. However, Jr. already knew it. So, this means that Peach has not given birth to any any uh, uh, of Bowser's, you know? She's not given birth, uh, as far as I know, to anybody. Peach and Mario look out to the sunset. The vacation starts now, says Flood. Now, <clears throat> at this point, safe to assume that Bowser and Peach have done the dirty. We can go ahead and just r mark that right off. Still very clearly a platonic relationship between Mario and Peach. And it seems that Mario has lost some interest with Peach, but is still down to be friends. Should Mario be saving Peach? Maybe. I don't know. Does Peach really want to be saved? Maybe. I don't know. But that's why we're answering these very tough questions. Anyway... The next game, Super Mario Galaxy 1. Now, there's actually some some solid, solid things to note here. We're back at the castle and Mario's visiting once again. This indicates that Mario does not live with Peach, he just visits. So again, if they were in a committed romantic relationship, you'd think they'd be living in the castle together. There's definitely enough room. Even if they were friends, they could live in the castle. I don't know where Mario is living. Honestly, he's a plumber. Like, where is he going after all this? Just to just go home? Where is his home? We don't, nobody cares, clearly. We're, we just care about Peach. That That's basically the, the viewpoint. But clearly not committed. Bowser straight up jacks the castle out of the ground and into space. And of course, Mario eventually saves Peach from Bowser. They all end up on the ground next to each other after order is restored to the universe or something. Peach notices Mario. But when Bowser wakes up, Peach gives Bowser the eyes. Now, if you've ever been involved in any sort of romance, ladies and gentlemen, um, and I, I certainly have not, so I can't really speak on this, but I am going to anyway. The eyes are an indicator of true love, true passion, fiery, burning passion deep in your heart for another being. And Peach is clearly just giving, oh my, look at the eyes. Need I say any more at this point? Peach is clearly more leaning towards Bowser. And Mario may actually be the toxic person in this relationship. Maybe. It's hard to say. Is Peach into role-playing in this being captured? Obviously, Bowser's a bad boy and could be part of the reason that Peach is into him. But is it an act or is that really how Bowser is? Would this all come falling apart if Mario wasn't there to save Peach? Does Peach just like the attention? So many questions still need to be answered. Now, Super Mario Galaxy 2... Um, it's basically the same story as Super Mario Galaxy 1 and doesn't really give us any insight into the relationship once again Very platonic between Mario and Peach. So we're just gonna gloss over that now the biggest and most important Super Mario Odyssey comes through it shakes the earth everyone loves it. The hat is cool You can be a Goomba damn. Okay, so boom right off the bat Bowser is about to get married to Peach 
Now hold the phone. Do you really think Bowser would forcibly marry Peach? I think at this point they've gotten to know each other a decent amount and Peach might actually be down to get married to Bowser. Of course, this would look awful for the Mushroom Kingdom, so in order to save face, it has to look forced. Once again, making Bowser look like the bad guy and Peach an innocent princess. Am I going too deep? Am I reaching for straws here? No, this is facts. Peach is never even that distressed. Look at the situation. Mario has been known to kick Bowser's ass repeatedly, time and time again. Peach knows this, Bowser knows this, and Mario knows this. So why is Peach not actually losing her mind and yelling for Mario to save her? Peach may want to be left alone. Maybe she has reached that point in her life where she's finally ready to settle down and get married, and Bowser is the man. He's obviously very big, very strong, much taller than her, and is a bad boy, right? Mario's the good guy, nice guy. It's revealed eventually that Mario is too late and Bowser is off to his wedding ceremony with Peach. Mario adventures through possibly the most beautiful Super Mario game ever created and walks into the wedding hall to see what? Peach and Bowser fighting over a ring. Who is this ring for? It's way too big. That clearly won't fit on Bowser's hand or Peach's hand. So maybe it's Bowser's you know what ring? Maybe? I don't know. No Not November's got me in a weird place, y'all. I just gotta say, I'm sorry. I apologize, even though I've failed multiple times already. I basically take the, I have two personalities, right? I have one that, that has fa that has failed No Not November, and that's the real me, but then there's the, the me that hasn't and is super horny and is basically my scapegoat for any sort of uh, horny conclusions here. Anyway, they all blast off together onto the moon. The hats are in love. You, you just gotta love it. How wonderful. Again, similar situation to the Super Mario Galaxy 1 ending, Peach, Mario, and Bowser in the same proximity, and this is it. Could this could this be the moment that we've all been waiting for? It looks like Mario is going to finally marry Peach, what we've all been waiting for. Surely, surely this is it. Mario begins to approach Peach, and Bowser slaps Mario upside the head. Peach blushes at Bowser trying to give her a bouquet of piranha plants. Mario, a fire flower. Clearly, if Peach wanted to be with Mario, this was the moment, right? This is when she would have to make a choice. Is it Bowser? or Mario. If she wanted to be with Mario, she would pick Mario. She ends up picking neither of them. Now, you could say, oh, well, she didn't pick either of them, so she doesn't like Bowser or Mario. But to make a needless argument, I'm going to say no. Bowser has caved. He's no longer the bad boy that Peach is into. He is not the Chad. He has gone full beta. Mario has forced him into one. So she picks neither of them and is once again a powerful, independent woman and Mario comforts Bowser knowing that he has been in this exact same position for decades at this point. The conclusion. These are my closing thoughts on the situation between Peach, Bowser, and Mario. Peach is not a hoe. She can't be because she isn't exclusive with anyone. And as far as I know, the only person that she has possibly done anything nasty with is Bowser. Let's be real. She was close to getting married to Bowser, but the divorce would almost certainly be inevitable after Mario comes and kicks his ass. Mario is a hopeless romantic. He has tried time and time again to get Peach's love, but he's just trying too hard. That That's basically my, my assumption. You know, if you're trying that hard for a girl, there might be something going on with you that you've got to solve. Because that's way too much work, right? For one girl, it appears that Mario is forever friend-zoned. Bowser is a tough guy that is also into Peach. However, I think he enjoys going at it with Mario, you know? He wants to best Mario because if Bowser can take down Mario, that would both prove that he is a tough guy, but also that he cannot be messed with by Mario. I believe the thing that's stopping Peach from tying the knot is the fact that this short plumber is able to come through and completely destroy Bowser. If if for whatever reason Bowser was way too strong and we maybe flipped the roles around and you were playing as Bowser and you had to beat Mario, that might be the situation that would snap Peach into being with Bowser. Of course, the Mushroom Kingdom would fall out of order because everyone's like, oh, Bowser, this bad guy. But I don't know. It seems like everybody kind of gets along. So I think a world like that could work out, but I just can't see. I, I don't see any future where Mario and Peach get married or anything like that. It just... It really seems like Mario is chasing after Peach. Peach 
is just kind of enjoying the battle between Bowser and Mario for her love, and she might not actually really be interested in either of them, but she knows that Mario is going to come save her every time, and Bowser wants some of that ass. So, yeah, that's about it. That that's that is um, my contribution to the world. I hope that this video didn't kill too many of your brain cells. And thank you for watching, and bye bye.